you please sit down, please? Have In this seat. chair right here? Yes, that chair right there, exactly, yes. <sighs> okay. Uh, do, oh, do I need to get rid of You this? can keep the wine. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Sure. Uh, can you please state your first and last name and tell us why you're here? Yes. I can. Thank you. Thank you. Tammy Jones. Hello everyone, I am Tammy B. Jones. I don't even know where to begin with this. I guess you could say it started when I was a child. I think even eight. Well, what I have to say, and the reason why I'm here today is because I realize I have a problem. Addiction is the worst thing that anyone can have to endure. I don't know, 10 years old, 8 years old, started when I was a kid. I would just do anything to get, to fulfill my addiction. And it got even worse when I was older. I, I mean, I would just blow money on my addiction. It's, it was ridiculous how much money I would spend in, in a week's time. One time I even spent a whole week's earning. I felt really good about it though. I don't regret it at all because if you was in my shoes, you would feel the same way. I guess. When I was a kid, and my mom would take me window shopping, and there it was all crispy and shiny and patent leather, a red shoe. It sparkled and dazzled and danced in my head. And I had to touch it, even though I knew I had broken the rules. My mom said, don't touch nothing in this store. We're just going through. Don't look at nothing and don't touch nothing. But as I passed by, my hand reached out. I'll never forget it. And as my mom was holding my other hand and my hand reached out, I had to touch that red pattern shoe. It looked just like a baby doll shoe. And as my mom was yanking me farther and farther away, I grabbed hold to that shoe. And I grabbed hold of that shoe and I pulled maybe six or seven pair of shoes down on the floor as we, she drove me by. That was a good spanking that day. Because I had broken rules. But I didn't care. I got to touch those shoes. I guess you could say the first pair of shoes I bought myself. I'll never forget it. I was so proud of myself. They were $98. And I had never had a pair of $98 shoes before. And I thought I did something so great. They didn't even get to go in the closet. They sat on the dresser as if they were an ornament or something. It's real, you guys. I love my 
my shoes. And if I can't have my shoes, I don't want anything else. You know, one thing. I I didn't realize I had a problem until, gosh, I got married. And, and then, once I got married, <laughs> I had to hide them. I hid them in my car. Can you imagine that, sitting outside, alone and cold? I'm still apologizing for that. They didn't deserve that. Even sometimes I don't even get to unpack them because I have to wait 24 hours to do that. Nobody should have to go through that. Nobody should have to hide their shoes. I know there's others out there like me. There gotta be others out there like you. And you laughing at me or you're talking at me. Don't judge me until you walk the mile in my shoes. This is so hard. Why is it so hard? I'm a shoe whore. And to all you other shoe whores that are like me, please contact me. We can help each other get through this. We truly can. People say that it's wrong to be a shoe whore, but I don't see anything wrong with it. Why do I have to feel guilty about my pleasure? I'm not hurting anyone. Until you experience what I've Save the soles on my shoes. Save the soles on my shoes. As I was saying, this is Tammy B. Jones. And I know there's others out there like me. And I look forward to meeting you. Until then, mwah. I know this is not even half, it's probably one third of my shoes, but I am Tammy B. Jones.
I confess, I'm a mess, I'm a wreck. But please don't take my shoes from me. Don't punish me. Don't make me stop buying shoes. Every woman loves shoes. 